6C is direct, inverse, joint, and compound variations. Previously, we learned about direct and inverse in Algebra 1, and we will stay expanding upon that and go into joint and compound variations. So, getting into it. Direct variation, the general equation is y equals kx. Uh, some characteristics about direct variation is that the y-intercept is always zero. So you might have seen this form as y equals mx plus b. So the y-intercept is always zero in a direct variation. So let's go into y, and it's always a straight line. Um, k is just always a constant. So if you had, and that's known as like y equals mx plus b, m was the slope. That's the constant, constantly the same slope. So k is a constant. So example one, suppose A varies directly with B. So I always look for the words, varies directly. What variable come before variable comes before that, we will label as the Y. What variable comes after, I label as the X. The very first thing in these problems you need to do is you're going to be finding the K. So you're going to note you're going to be given your X and Y. And we need to find usually find your K first. So if a equals 10 and a is the y in the problem, so a equals 10 when b is 5, so b in this case is the x, so it's k. Oh, let me hold on. So it's a equals kx. And our a is 10, and the k is the kx we were trying to find first and the b is the x, which is 5. So it lends you to a pretty easy one-step equation. You divide by 5 and you get k equals a constant is 2. So in our general equation, we can substitute in 2 for the k. And what is the value of b when, and then there's a second part of the problem usually, and what is the value of b when a is 15? Well, our a, I guess I could add the y here is a, and the x is b, so it's a equals 2 b. So our a when a is 15, so I'm substituting in 15 for a, and then we have to solve for b. What is the value of b? So divide by 2, divide by 2, and the value of b is 15 over 2, or you could go 7.5. So that's an exact value. Moving on, inverse variation. So inverse has to do with um, in pro inverse proportion. So one example is driving a car with, you're filling up your gas tank of a car, and as you drive and get your high, higher and higher miles on your car, your gas tank, tank goes down. As one variable goes up, the other variable goes down. Direct variation, both, your, both variables go up at the same time. So direct variation, one example was, was like a job or making per hour, hourly wage. As you work more hours, you make more money. Uh, so inverse variation, one easy one is the car with the gas. Um, so before we get into story problems, we have to kind of get an understanding of how, how these set problems are set up. So again, I look for, suppose R is inversely proportional, so I look for the words inversely, inversely proportional. What comes before it is the Y. What comes after the variable after is your X. So it's going to be r equals the constant, so k for constant, over the x, which in this case is w. So the first scenario sets up your problem. So r is 10, and the w is 7. And so the first part of the problem usually is to figure out your constant in the problem. So you divide, multiply by 7, and you get k, the constant in this case is 70. So in our equation for this problem, the constant is 70. So we substitute that in. And this is our equation. R equals 70 divided by W is our equation we are using for the rest of the problem. So now let's use it. Find the value of R when W is 12. And so when W is 12, we do just put in 12 for W. 70 divided by 12. 35 over 6, so 
so r equals 35 over sin 6. And then there's a second part of this problem. Find the value of w when r is 20. So when r is 20, put in 20 for r, solve for w. Well, you can't get w by itself when it's in the denominator, so you got to get it out of the denominator first. And get w times 20 equals 70, divide by 20, and you now can get w isolated. You can't isolate a variable in a denominator. 70, 20 is reduced down to 7 halves. Moving on. Joint variation is y equals k times x times z. So we have, again, search for the word very jointly in this case. They always look for varies and jointly or direct or inverse and search for it. And what comes before it is always your y, the word. And what comes after is always your next variable. So in this case, it's x and z. So jointly is just like direct, except there's one more variable added on or multiplied on. So in this case, our general equation is a equals k times m times t. And the value of a is 10. So again, the first part of the problem is just going to be trying to figure out what your k is usually. a is 10, m is 8. T is 6. So, simple problem to solve. A times 48. You're going to divide by 48. And our K is equal to 5 20 fourths. So, reducing that fraction down. K is equal to 5 20 fourths. So, I shouldn't circle that. It's not my final answer. We need to find the value of m when a is 4 and t is 8. So a is 4. We know our k now is 5 24 uh, We don't know m. But we know the t is 8. So we can do some simple math here. We have a fraction. I'd like to combine the, these two numbers here on the right side of the equal sign first. Make it 1. So it's 5 fourths times 8 is 40 20 fourths times m. And on this, you can either multiply by 24 and then divide by 40, or you can multiply by the reciprocal 24 40th. And you could have reduced that if you wanted right away. 24 40th. Multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, it's equal to 1, and 1 times m is just m. So 24 40th times 4, you can multiply the numerator out and do the division. I'm just going to solve it as a simplifying fraction. So 24 tenths, which reduces to 12 fifths. So m equals 12 fifths. And lastly, combined variation. Combine puts all the different types of variations together in a problem, or not all of them, but some of them. So our first example, r varies directly. So, so first we have a direct variation. So that's multiplying. So it's r is your y, m is your x. So we first have y equals k times x. So that's direct variation, k times x, which is we're going to replace that with r equals k times m, and inversely, inversely is division, directly is multiplication, and this is division. So it's direct, inverse, those are opposites, multiplication is direct, inverse is division. So we're going to take this r equals k times m, which is the direct variation, and we're going to divide it by, inversely, with the square root of w. So you take w and you square root it. Now this is my general equation I'm going to use for the rest of the problem. So if r is 12, so I'm going to replace r with 12. When m is 3, 
and W is 4. So I have to use that to find the K. So we do square root of 4 is 2. Multiply by 2, you get 24. K times 3. Divide by 3, you get K is equal to 8. Now let's use that K to find the second part of the problem, what we actually have to find. Our ultimate goal is to find the value of M. So now that we have K, we'll know what everything else is. So let's use this general equation that we started with here, or we came up with, and the R is 5, K is 8, M we don't know, so K is M, and we're dividing by square root of 16. So square root of 16 is 4, multiply times 5, you get 20, 8 times M, divide by 8, M is going to be equivalent to 10 fourths, which reduces down to 5 halves. Alright, come to class with any questions on variation. Thanks. Have a good weekend.